Welcome back, guys. It's Jason with your Hopium Free Crypto channel. Well, it looks like we have a few more boom signals here. They are on the longer term time frame, and I'll show you those on the charts. And we have some news to go through. But if there's something I love more than looking at cryptocurrencies and aping into nonsense, it is looking at market psychology. So I've got some of that for you today, and it is particularly important, especially as we go into those parabolic stages. Personally, I don't like to repeat the history and get screwed on my positions. So I always want to make sure that I'm learning on how to control my emotions. Obviously, one, with a plan and two, learning from the greats that came before me. I'm not saying that I'm a great, but I need to learn from the people that came before me and have walked that path. So today, let's hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, bell notification icon, hit all so you see the videos come up in your newsfeed, follow us on Instagram and on Twitter, daily updates over there. Let's have a look at this first. So I've got Benjamin Graham here. If you're unfamiliar with Benjamin Graham, familiarize yourself with him. The intelligent investor and as Warren Buffett calls it, uh, one of the greatest books on investing ever written. The best book about investing ever written. Uh, this is Benjamin Graham here. It He died in 76 so these are the old school guys, the greats. And uh, yeah, you've probably seen this title here before, the older title of it. This is what it looks like from the earlier copies. The quote, even the intelligent investor is likely to, likely to need considerable willpower to keep from following the crowd. I remind myself of Bitcoin at these highs from February where we started to go really crazy, March, crazy, April, crazy, May, again, crazy, everyone calling for $80,000 Bitcoins. Uh, this was my first time on YouTube through a bull market. So I'm trying to contain myself with the amount of noise that is out there in the market. If you're unfamiliar, maybe go and check out some of the posts that were around through February, March, April, and May, because personally, the way I look at the market is I expect this to come again. And at these times, Bitcoin literally did nothing for about three months, but the noise was out there. And so I just go back to the quote here. Even the intelligent investor is likely to need considerable willpower to keep from following the crowd. So the crowd can be right for a period of time. And the smart money was definitely buying up at these lows, distributing even here in the 30,000s on their profits through this section, knowing that they could be wrong leading into these highs. But from the 30s and the 40,000s to where the top was at 65, call it around 60, you're only getting at best a double on your money from the 30K to the 60K. Although it looks incredible, you know, a move of $30,000 in a few weeks is absolutely amazing considering Bitcoin had only just hit $30,000 a few weeks earlier and it's taken 10 or 11 years for it to get to 30 grand and then it basically doubles that in a few weeks. So I'm going to look at Cardano today in particular. Uh, not that there's anything against the projects. This thing, can it go to $50 in the future? Sure. Can it go to 100 Who knows? Can it go to 150 Like Charles Hoskinson said, he did not. That was all part of the scam. But can it, these things can go up to these really extreme prices. But if you're looking to take some profits along the way, don't worry if you don't get out at the exact high. Don't worry about that. There's going to be tons of videos, everything else going absolutely crazy. It's going to be fun. It's going to be exciting for the Hopium. Uh, but even if you get out at these points and you were in earlier, sure, you could have doubled your money, but just remember where you came from. Always remember where you came from as well. And you're not going to go broke taking profits, but you do need to let the winners ride as much as you can. So just keep following the trends and watch when the trend starts to break down like we saw through the top areas between the sixty and the $50,000 area. We can be wrong and the market can continue up, but just keep that on your side and just start to get a feel for what's happening in the market. So let's have a look at some of the Cardano news and then check out the charts on uh, the signals that I'm looking at as the market continues to break higher. So we have a total market cap of 2.1 trillion Good signs there. Bitcoin coming back to its trillion dollar market cap. ETH at $377 billion. Can these things go down another 10%? Sure, right? 20%, maybe. And maybe some people are waiting for that to get in to get that higher price. But we don't want to wait too long. Let's just keep following the, the pattern. This time compared to last week, 
the price hasn't really moved on some of these majors. If you really go back and have a look and look at the weekly chart as we will, you can see that the price was pretty much the exact same as it was last week. 49,300 closed this week at 48,800. All right, but there was a lot of noise in between because we hit $50,000, we dropped, and then we're back to around the same price. At the moment, we are currently dropping. Maybe we'll finally get that correction. We'll see. And if we do, I'll go live on the channel. Cardano, will Cardano support smart contracts on mainnet by October 1st? We're getting a nice leveling out here of four out of five people saying yes, one out of five people saying no. So it's a good sign. We're going to get there. Cardano gets its own Uniswap as $10 billion investment firm founder predicts ADA surge. Cardano is now getting its own Uniswap as the ecosystem seeks to mature and compete with its more mature rival Ethereum. So there's a lot to do with ADA here. Uh, this this particular crypto is Carter Swap. So you look at your tokens of Cada. Now bring this up because we're going to start to see a lot more of these and we already have really of these projects which are, this is what it is on Ethereum, your Uniswaps. We're trying to do the same thing on Cardano. Let's get into those things, make the money and get out of them. I personally believe, you might have a different view, is that many of these cryptos will pump and then they will dump. They'll probably lose 90, 95, 99% of their value after that peak. So you can start to get a bit of a picture. Once that peak comes in and you see the, a big enough correction, you could get some idea of where the base might come in. If you just draw your your tool down and just look at how far 90 to 99% was from that, that high. So let's take a look at the charts. And as I've said here, and also in the title, signaling boom ahead, the crypto market's going nuts. I always couple this with caution. You may not want to do that. That's your call. Uh, but, but personally, as I'm trying to learn as best as I can from some of these legendary investors that have come before me, uh, it's very difficult. Even the intelligent investor is likely to, likely to need considerable willpower to keep from following the crowd. And as we've discovered and we've seen many, many times before, maybe you haven't, definitely go back and check that out. At those peaks, it gets very crazy. So I want to remain cautious as the market is booming and as the signals are coming through for the boom. Signals that I have here are volume increasing. Look at that compared to the previous several weeks as well. And this is breaking out into new highs. Now this is on a log, so it doesn't look as crazy, but you can see here we've gone from a dollar to nearly $3. And that's only a tripling. Whereas these levels here were going from about 16 cents to 40 cents. And then we went all the way up to a dollar 50 as well. So basically 10 X in that period but the excitement wasn't anywhere near as much as personally what I think going into this all-time high. So we went from that dollar into the $2.50. So it's basically only a, a double and a half, but the excitement was extreme through that period in the market as we were going into a bit of an altcoin season as well. So uh, looking forward, the volume for me, good signal for the boom. We are potentially consolidating above all-time highs. That's exactly what we wanna see. We've looked at that before. There's a close and that's sort of the range that I'm looking at there now that we've got a weekly high. What I've seen in the past, market moves up for several weeks. We have now done that one, two, three, four, five weeks up, good closes above the old high. And then there was a couple of weeks of just consolidation, just sideways period and slightly down, but it didn't really affect it too much. And you can see further back as well, market also did that. Look at the volume as it begins to break, breaking to new highs, one, two, three weeks up. Also another up week, but it began to reverse and just go a little sideways for a period of time so that it could reload and shoot back up to the next high. So can we do that again? For sure. Maybe we sit around here for a week or two leading into smart contracts and then on that week or the day before, two days before, maybe we take off for another week or another few days. It's yet to be seen, but all of those scenarios are playing on my mind for a boom ahead because I'm seeing the volume on the break and the potential consolidation above the high. You want to see it above the high. Solana, similar. As we've boomed, we need to take a rest at some point. And we got this good volume coming through, breaking to the new highs. That's all good signs as well. And uh, just as I'm filming, we have now hit $100, $102 Solana. Absolutely nuts as it was just $22 a few weeks ago. And as I put that video out for the 10X, it was around $55 per Solana, uh, per Sol. 
So we've got the, the big volume. Will it take a bit of a breather? Probably. You know, you can only get so many weeks up before it takes a breather, whether it's sideways or down. We'll see as, as the time comes. But as we're leading into potentially the second explosive stage of the market, let's just be cautious as well. ETH, on the other hand, volume is dropping off, but the market is going sideways. Potential accumulation at these levels. Let's keep watching. Let's see whether this breaks down beneath these pretty close lows to where the market is. That'll give a little bit of a sign as well. But that's fine if the volume is dropping while we're going sideways because at the end of the day, people are getting bored and it doesn't mean that the, the price is falling out of the sky just yet. So that's the uh, signaling boom ahead. That's the excitement that I see in the market coming up. The last thing I want to look at to keep us from getting too crazy on the hopium, uh, I like to follow this account here, Secrets of Crypto. This is one we look at when it comes to altcoin seasons and altcoin cycles. One of these tweets here just a few days ago, for me, the buying window has basically closed for this cycle. At this point in the bull market, my focus is on hodling and shaving off profits on any parabolic moves as we continue upwards on this last wave of the bull run. Now, that might not be your view. It's not my view that I think we have to be closed off from the market. I think there are still uh, opportunities left, but they're going to get much more difficult and much higher risk the later we get into this market as well. So just keep your plans handy in case the market falls against you. You don't want to be left holding bags for a long period of time. I believe we're in the early stages of the last phase of the bull run, which tends to be the most explosive phase. Nobody knows how long it will last, but it may only be a couple of months more. Maybe it's longer, maybe it's not. Plan your exit strategy now as things could happen faster than you expect from here. That's what we've seen in the past. That's why we're looking at it again to happen through this period. 2021 might be the top, 2022 might be the top. The idea is no one knows, but everyone can plan. And the last tweet here, so you're wondering what to do. You know, maybe the market's up, you know, you've been buying stuff at the highs. What the hell do I do? I just want to get some some small gains. So my strategy is to hold 30% roughly of my high quality coins through the bear market. So this thing shoots up, ADA for example, shoots up to $10, $15. Even 30% of the portfolio looking to hold it through the bear market. That way, if the bull continues farther than I expect, I'm still in the game. I still expect the high quality alts to get crushed in the bear market, but to recover and then go higher next cycle five years from now, 10 years from now, two years from now. But the idea here is that you are protecting so you don't feel like an absolute idiot when the market falls down or you don't feel like an absolute fool if the market takes off without you. You still got some position to continue to ride that wave and that's hedging your bets. And again, I just want to learn from these guys. I'm not trying to be uh, some sort of hero. I want to be in the game long term. And so I want to keep this, keep me grounded here but knowing that when the time comes, it is going to be extremely noisy out there in the crypto space and it's just going to be mayhem of people saying this can't go down, super cycles are here, Bitcoin will never see $100,000 again because maybe it's at 200 grand or 300 grand and it'll never come back down. ETH will be the same. That, alt, that, that altcoin that you're holding will never come back down. I personally don't think that way. That's why I just want to keep myself grounded, especially through the craziness of the market because four of those magical words which always uh, ruin investors is this time it's, that's one word, different. And if we learn from history, it's generally never that different. That's my hopium filled with a bit of hopium free. I had another, I need another word for that. But that's the video for today, guys. I think things are looking good, but... Let's just be a bit cautious. And if you haven't already, this is probably a good time to get a plan. Keep it real simple. And I say now is a pretty good time because we're not seeing too much action to take our attention away to the market. You know, we're not seeing this thing pump and just get us super excited. Like, what do I do now? Like Solana, you know, it just keeps hitting new highs. Uh, for example, ADA is sideways for the last week or so. Ethereum has been sideways for the last one, two, three and a half weeks. That gives us time to prep ourselves for what might come next. So use this time wisely. I'll see you at the next video, but follow us on Instagram and on Twitter. Make sure you've liked the video up, subscribe to the channel bell notification icon. If you want to join us for more education, check out the link to the Investor Accelerator Lite 
is down below. The premium codes are probably gone by the time you've seen this. So thank you very much if you guys got on into the Investor Accelerator Premium with that huge discount launching the new website. Check out the Investor Accelerator Lite. There are still some discounted places on that as well. It probably got a few dozen there to check out. It is at 39 per month, 39 US per month. Great value down there. Check it out. I'll see you guys at the next video. Thanks again. It's been a fantastic ride. Let's keep this thing going as far as we possibly can. Maybe we get that double pump. Nice peak, six months off, another peak. Who knows what will come next? I'm just excited to see what does happen in this crypto space as it's, it's looking very healthy. Okay, let's move on from here. I'll see you at the next video. Until then, have more fun to get more done.